What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk to you about how you can optimize your workflow when you're creating your videos and your corresponding blog post to that video. Now typically it's best practice every time you upload a brand new video uh, to YouTube that you also create a corresponding blog post. That way you can ensure that your content is going to be viewed by as many people as possible because sometimes people will navigate to your website first and then they'll see the article. Uh, let's say we're going to go to this one over here. They'll see the article and then they'll read it and then they'll see the video on top and they'll click on it. They'll go to a YouTube channel or maybe they're going to YouTube and they're going to watch a video and then possibly they're going to go to your website. Either way you want to make sure that every time you're creating a brand new video, you're also creating a blog post or whenever you're creating a blog post, if it applies, that you also create a new video. Now that's a lot of work. I understand that. It's definitely something that takes up a lot of time, but you definitely want to consider this to be part of your workflow. But now what about thumbnails? Let's say you create a thumbnail for your YouTube video. And let's say you also need to make a thumbnail for your blog post. Now do you do that two times? Now that can get really tedious really fast. So there's obviously a solution for that and I'm going to introduce you to that now. So I'm going to go to my development website over here. It's on my local computer. And I'm going to go over here to the back end. I'll go to where it says plugins. I'll add a new plugin. I'll search plugins and type out automatic featured images from videos. Now this plugin is developed by RubDev Studios. And I just recently discovered this and let me tell you it's definitely a very useful plugin to use. Alright so we're going to install this now. We'll activate it. And once you activate it there's no settings you have to configure. It just works out of the box. It works for YouTube and for Vimeo videos. So we're going to try this out. We're going to go to add a new post. We'll give it our title. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my YouTube channel. I'm going to go over here grab the link. And I'm going to put it within the first part of the post itself. So I'll just paste it right there. And then I'll just put some lorem ipsum just to put in some filler text for now. Now every theme is different and I'm working with my custom theme Evo Pro and you can get that over at pixelmub.com. But what I have here is an option to display featured images in archives or blog roll but hide in on singular views. If you check this box what's going to happen is this video is going to be viewed as a thumbnail within the blog post itself but the thumbnail that's generated by this will be viewed on your blog roll page or archives page. Alright so we'll publish this and as you can see the plugin auto generated the thumbnail from the YouTube video as the featured image so that's really cool. We'll view the post and now you see we have over here the video being displayed on top which is what we want and if we go to our blog roll we see it's now being shown and called in as the featured image. So now instead of having to create two versions of your thumbnails or having to upload a new thumbnail all you have to do is just insert your video URL which is something you would have done anyway. So it just makes sense to streamline your workflow when you're working with YouTube videos and your WordPress blog by using this type of plugin the automatic featured images from videos. Now again this does work differently in every single theme because theme developers will typically use the featured images in different ways. So let me just show you an example of what possibly can happen. Alright so we're going to go back here to the blog post itself. We'll go to edit and if we don't check off this option here this is again custom to my theme itself and if we update and if we view the post you now see you have the double image here and this is what we want to avoid. This is not because of the plugin because the plugin is doing its job because this is the way the theme functions. It takes the featured image, displays it on top but we also have our video URL which displays it here. Still works fine on our blog roll page but we don't want this double image or what seems like a double image with the thumbnail image and the video URL. So you're going to want to definitely check out your themes functionality and see how it handles the featured images. Or you can just go get Evo Pro from my website which has this functionality built into it where you can just say to hide the featured thumbnail on the singular views but display it on the blog row pages. We update that, view post, and now we see is displaying the way we want it to. Alright so hopefully you found this video helpful. I just wanted to introduce you to a very useful plugin if you're a YouTuber who also has a website 
and you're using the best practice of creating a blog post to go along with your videos. It's something that could definitely drive more traffic. It leads to more conversions. If you're an active vlogger and blogger, this is something that could definitely be useful. I'm always looking for ways to increase my productivity and to streamline my workflow. And this is a plugin that I just discovered recently. And that's why I added this new code and new functionality to my premium theme because I wanted it to work well with this plugin itself. So definitely go get the automatic featured images from videos plugin. It's free on the WordPress repository. And make sure you're always creating a blog post to go with your videos. You want to rank well not only in YouTube but also in Google. And you want to give people an opportunity to read your content and view your content at the same time. All right, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.